Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Bearable IT. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about report types. So, start by clicking on the Reports tab, and then click on New Report. And every time you do this, you're going to be asked what kind of report type you want. And a report type is nothing other than what set of records you want to work with in your report. So, if you click on the Opportunities report type, it's just going to give you a list of opportunities and you can pick from the fields on the opportunity to put on your columns and things like that. Now I just want to point out you see some that mention multiple objects. It's nothing to be intimidated of. There's only two types of relationships in report types. There's the word with which means it must have the child object. So in the instance of opportunities with products that means you're only going to see opportunities that have products. And then there's the word and, which means it may or may not have the next object that it's talking about. So a good example of that is and products right here. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of both of these relationships. It's really nothing to be intimidated about. You'll get familiar with the naming conventions. So I'm going to first show you the one that's with delivery commitments here. This opportunity is with delivery commitments. I know that I only have one delivery commitment record in my entire Salesforce org. So when I click on this one and I run the report, I'm only going to see one record in my view. It doesn't matter what I do on the filters. I can say all time. I'm still only going to see one because I only have one delivery commitment in my entire org. So keep in mind, this, the number of records you see has to do with the child object. If I have multiple delivery commitments on this one opportunity, then I would see this one opportunity show up twice, or however many delivery commitments I had. Now if it said and delivery commitments, all of a sudden I would see every opportunity that I'm allowed to see. I would still see this one opportunity and if I put delivery commitment fields on here such as approved promise delivery date the only record that would have that field populated would be this one because the other ones would still have this column show up but they would all be blank because they don't have a delivery commitment. So now I'm going to do that example where I do opportunities and delivery commitments. And to do that, I need to do a custom report type. So we go to the setup menu. And then in the quick find, we type report to find report types. And then we click on new custom report type. Your primary object is going to be the highest uh, object. It's going to be the parent object. So I'm going to choose opportunities. And then you just want to follow that naming convention. So opportunities and delivery commitments. This means I'm about to make a report type where the record set is all opportunities, regardless if they have a delivery commitment or not. But if they do, then I want to be able to work with those fields and see those on screen. I like to just copy the label into the description. You can put other notes if you want. And then once you deploy it, people can use it. So here you set up the relationship. So from my opportunities, my child object is going to be delivery commitments. And right now, this is set up to be opportunities with delivery commitments based on this di Venn diagram here. I want it to be opportunities and delivery commitments so I'm going to choose this second option here and you see the entire circle fills in because I don't want to drop any records of opportunities. Go ahead and click Save and by default it's going to grab all the fields associated with those objects and put them into the report. And now when you go back and run a new report, let's go ahead and do that. 
Now if I type in opportunities, I now have and delivery commitments. So now when I select this one and press continue, you can see all of my opportunities just like I talked about and only this one actually has the delivery commitment fields populated because only this opportunity has a delivery commitment. If it had two, it would show up twice. So there's only one other thing I want to point out about report types and that's this nice little feature where when you want to traverse up instead of down and you don't necessarily want to include that object in your report type, you can do that. So opportunities will generally be children of accounts. Even though I don't have accounts in my report type, I can add fields using a lookup. And you do that just by clicking this link here. So this goes for custom objects as well, not just the opportunity object but you can actually traverse higher to its parent object and say, I want to have access to maybe the billing street. And then that will ensure that that field shows up in your report type to select from. Other than that, there's not a lot else to go over. It's really just those two relations. And once again, it comes down to you understanding how your objects relate to other objects in your Salesforce environment and how those translate to actual real world business stuff. Once you have that down, doing reports and report types becomes a bit easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this was useful, please drop a like, comment below, and consider subscribing. Thanks a lot.